So here are the 12 LEDs, Charlie plexed with four pins. And um, one way to follow it through is to look at a particular LED. So let's say, for instance, that we wanted to light LED H. Then what we would need to do is to source some current from pin 3. You can follow that up with the yellow line and then sync back to pin number 1 uh, with the green line. And you can do similar sourcing and syncing diagrams uh, with the other pins. So then we just need to arrange those 12 LEDs from A to L in a row, which makes it easier to, um, to see how to address. So again, if we just focus on, let's say, um, LED H, uh, from here we go from pin number 3. Here it is. So that's uh, with the yellow sourced. Um, and then through to uh, GH, which is which are connected together. And of course, the, it's only going to flow one way and throughout uh, the green back to pin number one. So it's a bit of a rat's nest, but um, this is what it finally looks like. So there's your 12 LEDs, your four resistors and your A-Tiny 13. And I'm just going to show again uh, what happens when you go from, in this case, pin number um, three, so that's going out through the resistor um, along through to H, out the other side, back through uh, a resistor and back to um, pin number one. So here we are, this is the random uh, LED sequence, so there's just I think a hundred uh, random LEDs uh, programmed to go. Then you have that um, Knight Rider or Cylon effect going backwards and forwards, just a single LED lit. This is two LEDs lit. They're actually not on at the same time, but because they're oscillating so quickly, um, the, you see them on at the same time. Um, this again is just a single um, uh, lit LED at a time, but because uh, it's going one and then the other, it appears like this uh, four LEDs all going at once. And we're back to the random again. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I suppose I should do the, you know, dun 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 Anyway, that's the circuit working.